Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Local producers are being criticized for not exploiting trade opportunities on the African continent. President of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, Richard Pandoe, admits members have not adequately explored the market. JMEA President Richard Pandoe is urging his members to look further afield when searching for new markets. He says local producers have become too comfortable with forging nearshore trade deals. In this particular instance, Mr. Pandoe wants his members to take a closer look at opportunities in Africa. That's an indictment against us also, in that we've always stayed very nearshore. We've always focused on, you know, diaspora, very diaspora come specific, you know, so we've got to New York and Jersey and Florida and Toronto. And I think no people realize the global village is so small. The JMEA president indicated that a few local producers do have trade ties in Africa, but he explained that the full potential of the market has been largely untapped. Nigeria is showing a lot of interest for Jamaican products now, a lot of interest. So a Nigerian um, high commissioner here, um, the Ghana continues to be very focused. I remember a lot of our people to chase back our region where are coming from the Gold Coast of Africa, lots of similarities. So when you look at Africa, when you look at Latin America, markets that we have traditionally just not gone in, I think these are no opening up. He's urging exporters to use the internet to catapult their products into far-reaching markets, highlighting the need for local producers to become more involved with the global digital transformation. The e-commerce platform, just the ability to see things now at a glance, has created opportunities even beyond us physically landing a place. People are writing to us and saying, we see these products, we want these products. The Victoria Mutual Group is the latest company to close one of its branches due to COVID-19 related circumstances. VMBS Today temporarily closed its new Kingston branch following the positive COVID-19 test of a team member. The branch is being deep cleaned and sanitized. The VM Group says it is being guided by the Ministry of Health and Wellness and is following all safety protocols. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $150.77. The Canadian dollar is going for $114.07. The pound closed at $196.26, while the euro ended the day at $180.46. The JC index lost 6,519 points today, while the junior market index gained 10 points. Among the winners were Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Epley, Iron Rock Insurance, Mayberry Investments, and Access Financial Services. Now on the losing side were Caribbean Cream, JMMB Group 7.25% Preference Shares, Scotia Group Jamaica, 138 Student Living, and AMG Packaging and Paper Company. And that's the business day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.